Fest 2011. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Selling homemade ice cream for money. Hey, it's uh, Mandrick um, here at Pork Fest 2011. Um, uh, I'm actually from York, Pennsylvania, but I just made the move to Keene, New Hampshire. This is the uh, George's Famous Baklava Stand. We're here for our second year at Pork Fest. I have my new sandwich called the Train Wreck, which is a weave of 10 pieces of bacon. It's like a blanket of bacon with a uh, gyro meat on top and all the toppings. And I can't come out here for an entire week of camping and drinking and party and music and radio shows and not like make money. It's, it's a fun vacation. I have full authorization of myself and um, I don't know, there's no government here. There's, this is a free market. I don't have a license to make colloidal silver, which is not FDA approved. Uh, we don't have a health inspector checking our coffee machine. Uh, these tables oh, are not them. up to code. To OSHA safe. would be really pissed <laughs> off about the heart-shaped table, but I don't see OSHA here. So anything you need or want is oh, at yeah. number 35. That's, That's it. it. Oh, yeah. That's basically it, because you can come here and you can write on the list whatever you need or want, and you write what campsite you're at, so people can either go there, or you can put your number on here so people can call you if they have whatever you need or want. And uh, just check out the list. Go check it out. This is Zach Fix with uh, Fix Brewing at Port Fest 2011 in Agora Valley uh, from just outside Charlotte, North Carolina. We have Gluten Free, which is a uh, Beer with no gluten in it for people who can't normally drink beer. We have uh, Belgian AAA, Buzz <gasps> Big Gay IPA on tap, Molotov Heffa on tap. If you pre order next year, you can get some of the Sticky Porcupine, the uh, annual Pork Fest beer, which is a honey molasses beer. The motto at Fix Brewing is make good beer, drink good beer, and don't ask permission. Here we have a strand, a roll of hemp wick. A marijuana smokers, as well as tobacco smokers, cigar smokers, even cigarette smokers, like to use hemp wick in order to light their particular smoking product because it eliminates the inhalation, if that's a word, of butane. So let's demonstrate. You simply light it. Preferably, you have a working lighter and the hemp wick lights up and you pass around your pipe, your bong, or your cigarette. And uh, you have the pleasure of avoiding toxic butane. It's 100% natural. And one of the things that we'll be doing here at our little uh, Agora Valley booth is wrapping them in lighters. People like to wrap them around in their lighters, so you carry around the lighter with the hemp wick and uh, you know you don't leave home without it. And we're gonna have Bix, none of these uh, tricky status electric <laughs> green lighters. Awesome, it's called. Yeah, we're at Pork Fest. This is the Windigi stand. This is Wisconsin Indigenous. Pork Fest is like a grand bazaar. Look at all, we got all kinds of interesting food at Pork Fest. You gotta come out next year. Yeah, we come out. Right? So what do you sell at Windigi? Wisconsin, man. Sausage, cheese, fish, milk, dairy products. Quality food. Well, I'm definitely gonna order some Wisconsin food. You said something about uh, what'd you say? A beer brat with you get a portobello mushroom Swiss brat with a chunk of beer cheese, milkshake with that. Awesome, how much? Nice mixture, that'll be about 650 Okay, I have Shire Silver. It's uh, yeah, 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 the package cards, yeah. So, five grams, it's about a buck a gram right now. So this would be five dollars, but I have more. There's smaller ones too. We take uh, Federal Reserve notes, and we take uh, uh, silver, and uh, maybe an open or barter. We take shire silver, we take silver coins, we take you know, any, anything. Any, we love silver the best, that's absolutely. We even have uh, somebody, we had somebody pay with a gram of gold, and uh, we just have a tab of what we owe them still in food, so that's been pretty cool. So too. everything's marked in FRNs, but if you pull out the silver, I'll do the conversion and set you up with a good deal. What really amazed me was the the quarter and the, the dime I got from like pre-1960 that they, it was like 35 cents, but they paid for like a $10 meal. Right. Okay, today we're here at Windigi. Did I say that right? Windigi, Windigi yep. Here at Windigi, just bought me some Wisconsin-style brat with some cheese. Delicious uh, with Shire Silver, and I got a milkshake coming as well. It's gonna be awesome. But uh, here's the trade at Pork Fest: silver for food, 
monetary transaction. We are not domestic terrorists. <laughs> Bite. The government didn't require me to put the top of the <laughs> right. paper still on the straw. Did it voluntarily? Mm -hmm. Good. 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 You know, it's just like it's just like your grandma cooking for you. You know, it's you know that you cook with love. You don't need a license. Yeah.